what happened, they used to be uh, street fairs on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley. Yeah. For some reason, the moronic stores along the way, yeah. they complained about us. And if they had just opened their shops on, on the weekend, yeah, at the same time, they, they would have made a bundle. Yeah. But anyway, they went to the city and have them removed. Yeah. They want them out of there. Yeah. So then they went down to Shattuck Avenue. Yeah. And they did them down there. Mm -hmm. And then they wanted to get rid of them in Shattuck Avenue. Yeah. And that's when I stepped in. First of all, we, we kicked the guy out, out to doing these shows. Sure. Because he was just in it for the uh, entry fee money. Yeah. And, and then uh, I got it organized in my studio on Claremont Avenue. Yeah. I'd, we got an, a lawyer and got incorporated and yeah. all that crap and went before the city council. Yeah. I pled my case. Mm -hmm. Is there anything wrong or. Yeah. And I was speaking, and somebody had to tap me on the shoulder and tell me, you know the way they talk, I don't know what the hell they're talking, Sure. the politicians. And they had to tap me on the shoulder and said, you won. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know if you were winning Get or not. Get out of there, you know. Sure. You got what you got. And they put the uh, art show in a park on the other side of the city hall. Sure. So that's one thing that I did. I was smart enough to not make myself the top guy. I made somebody else so it wouldn't look like I was... Not like it was your event, it was yeah, just you were, it was not, you were helping everyone get I, together. I, did, I didn't want credit or anything. How did uh, opening your studio impact your style? Like as far as sales, your style developed more or less, or Claremont Avenue yeah, that, Gallery uh, Studio? Well, that's an interesting thing. I did a lot of stuff that I would have done for the street fair, sure. which were kind of shallow. They were little abstracted boats and ships and things like that. Yeah. And they were these long ones that people could run all over the couch. They were rather shallow, but when I look at some of them now, yeah. you know, they weren't half bad. Ulta has one. Yeah, the junket. Yeah. They were very popular. And uh, so on Claremont Avenue, I just continued doing that stuff. Yeah. And then I got a hold of my balls. First of all, you had to survive. Yeah, you had to sell something. You have to survive. Yeah. You, know, you can be on, on cloud nine and be selective as hell and, and starve to death. Yeah. So, and then I slowly, methodically became more serious. Yeah. And more diverse. Yeah. And I, I get cut loose and, mm -hmm. you know, look around. Yeah, the benefits as a painter is survival. I don't know how many were burned up. Yeah, someone estimated it was about 700 or so. She may think that, she may, but maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't think I sold a 700 painting. Did that impact your work? Did you go more towards reds or... First, I get a lot of phone calls from their insurance. They wanted to get money from the insurance company out. What would, what's the value of the painting that I bought? And I, I had no idea. <laughs> but one guy calls and he wanted to replace it yeah. with another painting. Sure. One guy. I don't have any students. Uh, these Venetian blinds that I paint with. Yeah which are extensions of the palette knife. Yeah, exactly. I've told people that nobody seems that I know of use them. You know, I'm not, I'm not hiding them or anything. Yeah. But I got them all the way up to five feet. 
So how often do you use like the five feet ones versus the really small ones? Uh, once in a while I'll use one about four feet. Yeah. Or, or 50 inches. Sure. Because these are 40 by 50. Yeah. And I haven't been using the great big long ones lately. Mm -hmm. But I do use some of the uh, 50 ones. Garrett Richter does a similar fashion with oh, similar to these blades. Yeah. So it's a similar. Venetian I don't think blind? he uses Venetian blades, but he uses like a blade, like long blades or smaller blades. But most of his work is with the really long blades. Charlene gave me a book on, on summer. Yeah, I was totally uninterested. So here's the final urn that Don decided for himself. <laughs> with instructions of what to do afterwards. No snickering allowed.